YouTube, what is up today? We're going to be doing pickums, and it is time for playoffs. In terms of Pacific, where are we? We're pretty low down. 10, 15%, 100 points, 6 10. So we're like, what? Not even top not even top 15%, just outside. So we're going to end like top 20, top 20%. It's not great. Uh, I backed on DRX making a lower bracket run, and they're just out of it. So what is looking better? EMEA. EMEA is looking a lot better. I'm in top 4% for this. We're hopefully trying to get one top one percent and for that we have to predict all of this right so Fnatic against team liquid oh boy do these singular limb games are absolutely savage i would say that maybe these are the top three teams in emea right now and they're all facing against each other um Fnatic against liquid so lotus will be getting played icebox the more I think about it, the more I just think that Fnatic have a better map pool, which has been one of the criticisms about them saying they don't have a map pool, but I think they sorted out their icebox. Um, yeah, I, Icebox, Icebox binds Lotus. Like, there are three maps that I think they're going to be winning. Liquid can win Split. Liquid should win Ascent. What else is there? Breeze. Sunset's going to get banned. Maybe Breeze is going to get banned. So the maps kind of go three to two in my head, the way of Fnatic. So I think I have to go for Fnatic. Um, what are Fnatic going to pick? Icebox, probably. I think they would pick Icebox here. And then Liquid, Split, Split or Ascent. Fnatic, Icebox or Lotus. They might be able to get Lotus third map. Yeah, i got to go with Fnatic just purely based off the maps, but this is a close game for sure. I can see Liquid with how good they looked against Gentlemates taking this. I like this freer style that they're doing. I, I like the... I mean, people that watch my stream know I like the Chamber. Na'Vi against Heretics. Heretics are really on form. Na'Vi are pretty on form as well. This is a strong game. Do Na'Vi get revenge? <laughs> I don't want to see Angel on uh, Yoru again. I think I have to go with Heretics. This is a hard one as well. But do you know what's really hard about this is because if you get this wrong, whoever makes it here is probably going to make a pretty deep run, at least in the lower bracket or, or upper bracket. So all of my all of my points could get won or loss here. I'm going to go with Heretic. I think, I think I just have faith in this team at the moment, even though Na'Vi look great and I don't think they should be in a single limb. Yeah, let's let's believe in Woot at the moment, even though Na'Vi have been looking great other than really the Breeze stuff. Um, yeah. I don't know. I'm kind of unsure about it. I really am. There's a lot of me that thinks I should be clicking Na'Vi right now, but I'll go with Heretics. I think I've been impressed with the coaches recently. Okay, K-Corp against Fnatic. Am I actually going to have Fnatic going through? K-Corp against Fnatic. That's a rematch as well. I think Fnatic might win this. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna back Fnatic with this one, and I'm gonna back Foot with this as well. I think Foot have some good comps that they may be hiding on some of these maps because there's no way. I'm well. I'm pretty sure there's no way that this Lotus comp is their actual comp. So I think they have other comps, and I think this will be the time to use it now. I think that. Them having stuff that they haven't shown is going to save them in this game. So foot, go through as well. And then Heretic should win the lower bracket. Oh, is, is K, am I really predicting Fnatic to go through over K-Corp? Yeah, sure. And then, I mean, foot should win this. Heretic should win this. And then who wins out of foot or Heretics? Probably foot in terms of how everyone's been looking at the moment. Foot to win. Foot to win this. Foot or, her foot or heretics, who wins this? I'm going to go with the safer option. I think the safer option is foot. Would, would heretics win the rematch? I'm not sure. I'm going to go with this one. Let's submit that. I I'm not... I tell you what, all of this, I'm not actually... EMEA is such a flip-flop. I don't even know how we're in the top 4% because I feel like I'm getting everything wrong. So it looks like everyone else is also. So yeah, we'll just, we'll just go with this. I think I've got... um. I've been doubting foot a little bit, so it's time to believe in them. And and watch it be their downfall. Um, right, that is locked in. What do we got next? We have Americas. C9 against G2. 100 Thieves against Loud. Oh, boy. Dude, playoffs is, playoffs is so sick. 
Playoffs is so sick. Okay, G2 against C9. I think I'm going to... Do I believe in Oxy? When I watch C9, they look great. G2... I don't want to think about the Lao game too much because I think they were just thinking of the points. Their map pool's a lot better. Bind's good. I just think Oxy looks too good right now. I think this can be an Oxy carry. Someone's got to shut him down. And... I mean... Leaf is going to be really up for this game. Let's go with C9. I've, I've got some faith in C9. Even though I think G2 are doing good, and I think the map was getting a lot better. 100 Thieves against Loud. I'm a, I'm a 100 Thieves believer, and I know that Loud always, you shouldn't you shouldn't count them out, and they're kind of at their run-up into going back to their peak, and that's a scary, scary time. But, dude, I'm such a 100 Thieves believer that I'm, I'm going to keep going with it. They haven't, they haven't, they haven't proven me wrong. Right, I've I've backed them so far and they've been looking good. So until I see different, I'm gonna I'm a hundred fees believer. Crew against C9. Oh man, I I don't know what it is about Crew at the moment. Even though they're looking really good, that Lev game shook me a little bit in terms of a lot of doubt set in. So much so. <laughs> a cloud nine making it no man you, i gotta go with my senses here i gotta go with crew over this i gotta go with lev here i've gotta go with 100 thieves over c9 I feel like i just did a big speed run that that makes the most sense but i can 100 percent see c9 winning this and cloud uh, i think 100 thieves will have a rough time here i i this is maybe like i'll give them actually like 30 percent. i think level looking on form right now in fact i just have them winning the whole thing level look great um 30%. Yeah, I think that's fine. I have 100 feeds going to the final, though. I just got belief in them. I just have belief. And all of this could be proven wrong just by this first loud game. How are we actually doing in terms of America's? I mean, we're in the top 15% again, right? Maybe just on the outskirts. Sure. I'm, o I'm okay with this, to be honest. Um... Wait, would 100 Thieves be so happy that they made it through and take their foot off the pedal here and crew would win? Who's in their team? Yeah, no, I think they would. You win that game, you're through, you're through to Shanghai and you take the foot off the pedal. Who wants it more? Crew would want it more. Okay, I'm going to go with that one just because I think 100 Thieves are going to be fine with qualifying and... Even though they're still going to try, I'm not saying they're not trying. I just think it'll be one of those things of who wants it more. They've qualified. It's been a while since they've qualified. I know it's been a while since Crew have qualified as well, but obviously they had last, last chance qualified last year. Um, and I think 100 Thieves would just have that relief of qualifying so they take the foot off the pedal, which means I would lose to Crew. Even though if it was a game, then in theory... No, yeah, I'm, I'm sticking with that. I think that makes the most sense. Um, and then Lev should just win out. Let's see how that one goes. I would love to see 100 Thieves prove me wrong and get to the final, but I think whoever wins this I think whoever wins this lower bracket here doesn't win this game. They took their foot off the pedal, unless Lever somehow in the bottom bracket. All right, last one. Where are we at with uh where are we at with China? Um we're doing not great in China. Oh boy, we're, this is our worst one so far. We're at like 25%, top 25%. Um, okay, Trace against All Gamers. Dude, I'm, I'm impressed that All Gamers and Nova got here, and I'm going to say that that's as far as they get. And then, dude, this could be kind of straightforward. I kind of want to predict FPX to be EDG. I will say that right now. I'm, I'm feeling FPX at the moment. they got some weird comps. Um, Trace against Dragon. Who actually makes, makes it? Trace against Dragon. I think I've got to go with Trace on that. I think this makes sense as being the top three. FPX against EDG. I'm enjoying the FPX comps. I think they take it. I think... I think FPX... Do I think FPX wins this all? Maybe they win the fast. Let's go with that. They win the fast one, but then when it gets to the best of five... Wait, they're probably more likely to win a best of five. They win, they win the first best of three, then EDG takes it lower bracket. I can see that. I'm in for that. That's that's what I've done. Did I submit the Americas? I can't remember. Um, hopefully. Where are we? Did I submit this? 
Okay, yeah, we did. All right, thank you so much, everyone. Thank you for all of the subs, all the comments, um, all the likes on the channel. Uh, sorry I didn't stream today. I, I just got a bit behind on a lot of the Coach Potatoes videos, but we'll be back here streaming the... Um, I mean, we'll be here streaming the playoffs tomorrow. Not 100% I'm going to do China, but I might catch the second game, depending on what the time is like. Thanks so much, everyone, and I'll see you on the next video.